What's up guys? Welcome back. Jando here as always. And today we got a, we got an interesting one. We're going on more of the stuff with the Flipper Zero and I want to show you guys this one. I got it working with iOS on iPhones and it's really, really cool. Let me clip in some stuff. This is going to be a super short one today because I spent a bunch of time yesterday ripping apart a camera. Yeah, wait. I have all the parts bagged up and all the pieces are out here. So I don't know. We're ripping apart this thing right now. I need to get a reflow station. So I want to talk about and some other stuff. Do two seconds. Okay, so let me show you guys real quick the prototype we have running. Uh, currently, we are running on a Flipper Zero, and this is with the bad USB firmware that we are running here. However, there's a long thing. This guy, I saw a video, and I'll maybe play part of it here, because screw this guy. I, I saw a video of someone doing this with iOS, and I really wanted to do it, because I thought that was kind of cool if you were able to do that with an iOS device. So, saw the video, dude was like, no, you can't have that. So, I wrote my own, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. Yeah, and this is gonna be part of the short if you guys see this later. Later, but I figured out a way to use iOS to access uh, to access keyboard strokes and stuff like that on Flipper. Okay, so now we have this all set up, the bad USB running right here, and you'll see once we click run on this, the iPhone will start typing in my contact information for my new contact, which is me. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? So, we have iPhone scripting now, completely set up for the Flipper Zero, and I think we can do some really cool stuff. The only thing that I saw that would be maybe kind of more security stuff and would be kind of cool, by accident, I was able to even load my own website as a, as a PWA onto this after. So just by typing in this, and we'll say, Jando, it should bring me to my PWA, which is my site. Kind of spooky though, you think about it, you could upload a PWA and then have it running. If you don't know what a PWA is, don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. On to the next, on to the next. Okay, to the next, and this thing right here is the next thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so, I recently got a new chair, this chair was dying, I know, we, we had the whole prints and all the other stuff. Got a new chair, and the problem with this chair, beautiful, amazing, greatest thing ever, but it doesn't have a headrest. So, I was looking into design, and parts and I grabbed this part online and I was printing to test it because I wanted to either take a LiDAR scan or do something else for the chair itself. But I found a really cool design that sits in and snaps on. I'll, I'll link the uh, printing stuff. We're actually printing something else right now. Well, I'll let you figure whatever that is out. But um, got this part going and now I can design something I guess a little better. This is supposed to also have screws that fit in the bottom for tightening. This is actually a really cool design but I don't think it's really meant for 3D printing because two of the parts, it gets a little too much strain right here and it already started crafting. So we're gonna have to beef this up. Really, really cool thing. Okay, next, next up, next up. We're gonna go right in line now. Um, I also this week got like a bunch more of uh, a bunch more of these, which are the ESP32 C3 seed chips. And now let me bring you in on something really cool. I'm gonna talk about this now because I wanna make this happen. I think this is one of the cool ideas for like a crazy video this year that I wanna do. I wanna see if I can make a physical neural network out of ESP32 C3s with, with broadcast mode um, Wi-Fi. So when I say that, when I say physical, this is just, I guess, more of a more of an experiment to see how much how well I know neural networks and all this stuff. But I wanna use each one of these communicating with Wi-Fi as a physical node inside of a neural network and if you don't know what that means don't worry I'll explain in the video later but the way they work and maybe have it play me in like tic-tac-toe or something so let's say we have like 10 neurons or something where we're going through with the input and the it, it's, it's really cool if I could make this work but that's why I am currently stocking up on these things because they're so cheap and I hope they stay cheap but uh yeah I think uh, yeah but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for today. So I even got this fixed up. I want to make sure I showed you guys. It's still counting up. We're still going strong. My favorite alarm clock ever. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. A uh, quick update video, as, as I know I was saying today. We're going to definitely flesh this out a bunch more with the actual scripting. And I'm going to fix that so it just works all the time, everything with iOS. But I wanted to make sure I had something out here. Uh, still going strong. This week, I actually might have a chance to make a couple more videos. Uh, another video tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Don't want to promise. But that's about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye guys. Also, thank you so much. Bye guys.